Hi, today we're going to learn the equal to rank function in Excel, but without repetitive ranks. Meaning, if there are two exactly same values, in normal equal to rank function, both get the same rank. But today we want to learn how to give different rank to both the values, that is one after the other. Let's see this. Here we have a database of 20 students with their results of an examination across seven subjects. We've taken a total across seven subjects for each student. First, we will give a normal rank. So we use equal to rank and we say find the rank of Dennis across all these students. I fix the range so that the range doesn't move, comma, zero for descending order. So we know that Dennis has got rank four. If I simply double click and copy this formula down, you will notice that two students with exactly the same total of marks get the same rank. We don't want this situation. We want one of them to get 10 and the other to get 11. Let's see how to do this. First, we will take the normal rank function as we did earlier, exactly the same way. Plus, we will do a count if. What count if does is, it counts the number of occurrences in a particular range for a particular value. So if 546 in this case appears only once in the entire range, the count will be one. Otherwise it will be two. But, but how we will run this is we will check whether 546 has appeared any time before this or no. So in this case, 546 is the first value. So of course it's going to appear only once. When it checks to the next value, that is 576, it will check whether 576 has appeared till now, how many times? Let's see how to do this. So I take the range as 546 itself and I press a colon sign. When I do that, it becomes I2 colon I2 comma 546 itself again as the criteria. I will explain this to you. I close the bracket. What it has given you is five meaning it is telling you that till now in the range 546 is appearing once. So the rank that was 4 plus 1 will become 5. Now when we double click this formula down all the ranges will change. So we need to fix this particular I2. Why? So that we are saying always find from the starting point of this range. Let's understand this. When I copy this formula down, two has become three. Let's see. What happens is the normal rank it has calculated as two plus it is checking whether 576 has appeared before how many times. So it is saying one time plus one. So it's got three. Similarly, if we go down, 17 becomes 18, eight becomes nine, two becomes four. Why? What has happened is 576 is appearing twice in your data. So here it is saying that normal rank was two plus Excel has found out two instances of 576 here and before this. So it has done plus two giving you four. This is ideally not desirable. So what we need is four should remain four, right? So what we will do is we'll negate this by one at the end. So this has become four. Now when I copy this formula down, two remains two, 17 remains 17, eight remains eight, two becomes three. We will understand this again. The normal rank formula has given you the rank two for 576 plus it has counted using countif how many times has 576 appeared before? So that gives you two and we are negating that value by one. So in the end, we are saying find the rank and add one to it, giving you the rank three. Now, when I copy this formula down, it will give you all the ranks accordingly. Let's give this as new rank formula. If I simply sort this data by this new rank formula, we will see that whenever the values are exactly the same, still the ranks are different and so on. 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.